<laughs> yeah, do you wanna really, do you really wanna play me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I will accept you. Thank you so much, Anti Chess Must for the, for following. <laughs> That's really funny. I'm definitely accepting Ilya. We have a grandmaster who wants to join. Who wants to join in the simul? Clearly, it's an interesting challenge. <laughs> we have to gather like for yeah yeah 30 people. I will start up with about 30. No no 30 people. Yeah uh, 20 plus 10. But for me I will I will have plus uh, plus 90 minutes. Uh, so for me it will be what one hour one hour and 10 minutes right plus 10 seconds per move. So I don't lose uh, I don't lose on in time every single game. So everybody who I can see in my uh, in my chat, I'm glad to accept until after like for 30 people. It's going to take like two hours this this one. So just telling you, just telling you, Ilya and everybody else also that this is going to take a while. Can you imagine I'm playing against a grandmaster, my former roommate for three years, the one and only Ilya Nizhnik. That's that's amazing, isn't it? All right. So the master Leo. I'll accept your challenge and going to uh, start the sim right now. Let's start it. Let's start it with with, uh, with twenty people. Good luck, everybody. Good luck to everybody, and let's start. Oh wow, it's Ilya. That's going to be an interesting game. Nimzi and David Ilya. Okay. I will just play my usual Catalan. And we have that Scotland again with Ilya. Hmm. Probably I should have played actually nice history. Yeah, that, that's a that's an interesting move too. Okay, let's move Queen C2. Let's play Queen C2. It's an absolute main line. Bishop d7. This is somewhat boring. Catalan mainline. I'm to blame. I'm the to blame. Though, because I went for it. Let's go. Let's go. Queen c4. Actually, Queen c4 might. I'm wondering if Queen C4 B5. I mean, there is also Bishop C6, of course. All right, so okay, let's go look D1.
a5 is a move. Bishop f3 would have been the main line. a5, maybe we can just play e4 here, can't we? My d7 is a move. Uh, we could take on c6 or we could take on c4. Both of them are alright. Even d5 is a move with, against Ilya. Seems a bit sketchy what he's doing here, but I mean, still, black should be kind of alright. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Let's just take back with the knight on c4. D5, actually he has bishop b7, right? But I mean, it's, it's still sh still should be good for us. Yeah, bishop b7 is what he had to do that. And now the position is, I don't know, still interesting. Like, take, take, knight e5, bishop d6. Take e5. Does he get away with that again? It feels like he does. Maybe there is also bishop h3. Okay, let's take. And now what I'm thinking about is maybe to play some bishop h3 stuff. So it's, it's still funny that that after knight e5 in this position versus here he still have bishop d6. And if I take and he takes back, then e5 there is queen c6 and um, he's threatened with mate here. So I can't can't really do that. It's it looks like almost winning, but somehow it's not. Somehow this is just not winning. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Chesbia, for for raiding raiding us. Thank you, Bianca. How was your stream? I hope you had a great stream. I'm a little bit tired here. For everyone who is jo who is joining and playing a summer at the moment. Thank you so much, Emil Anderson, for following. I'm playing a summer here after uh, streaming for five hours straight and almost sleeping but trying to find out how to how to not lose every game and maybe even some hey just to go and also i'm playing imagine i'm playing a simul and i'm playing another grandmaster in my simul can you believe that can you believe it yeah jo joint yeah joint and it, it seems like i'm almost winning against him but not quite so the variation is knight e5, bishop d6, and then takes, takes. And it seems like that I would win a piece with e5, but the problem is that he has queen c6, moving away with the queen out of the pin. Not only that, but threatening mate only h1. And I just can't figure out how to, how to deal with all of that at the moment. Hey Duck, what's up? Not sure. Not sure. So sleepy, sleepy P 
Peter is trying trying to trying to beat a twenty basically a twenty seven hundred gold master in the Simon. I do have an hour more though than he does. So bishop g five there is rook g six. Oh thank you so much, thank you so much, Bianco. Thank you so much. I hope to do my best. Have some serious in some positions I'm in a serious travel. I even tried the Stafford Gambit in one of them and my opponent just found the refutation. Oh yeah. Yeah, it seems like we are we are streaming at the same time. So rook f6 and and it's not sure not clear what I should do. At some point I have to arrive to a decision though. Not clear, not clear. Bishop G5, Rook G6. Can't see really anything clearly there either. So it's it's just tough. It's just tough. With a knight e5, bishop d6, knight c4, probably has to go back. So that would be a funny make, way to make a draw, but it feels like the position should be just crushingly good. And so it's hard to accept that I can't find a victory here. Like e5, there is also rook g6. And still, there is nothing apparent here. It's just such an interesting position. Maybe this is the idea to play bishop g5, imagine bishop g5, rook g6 and then knight e5. Maybe that's the idea. And this, if it still have a lot of compensation though even there, but probably that's the way to go. So let's do it. Where is the guitar girl? I mean she knows many songs already. She knows many songs, so uh, she's the she's our lovely lovely secretary, Anna. She was there there with me with the with the birthday stream, but of course, I can't expect her to be there always. It was very nice of her to to join join me celebrating celebrating my birthday. Bishop date and he does he does have compensation here. So he does have compensation. Seems to be an interesting position. I could even move the the bishop. I mean, like to somewhere else. I don't have to t exchange it on on d8 if I don't want to. But maybe I want to. Let's do it. All right, let's actually that there is some tricks here that I need to take into account. Let's just try to exchange some more stuff. I don't think he's going to exchange, but that still wouldn't this shouldn't discourage me from trying. So here Ilya is still fighting on, which he usually does, and the idea is that if I play f4, which seemingly is a very good move, he can just take it because of this pin. And so he also wants to put the knight on f3, which is also annoying. So I can't play f4, he's starting with knight to f3. Mm. I'm still somewhat tempted to to play f4, I'm that, but I mean, just takes check, he can go back, doesn't seem to work, so probably what I need to do is bishop g2, exactly, exactly duck, I probably just put the bishop back to g2, that's what I need to do, but I just, 
look, this bishop exerts a nice, a nice pressure on e6, so I'm somewhat reluctant to, to, reluctant to do so. But it doesn't seem like I have a better choice than that. So I will do it. You know, there is another option of actually C playing f4 and if he takes them takes them there is queen h5. I'm somewhat wondering if that if that works, but probably not. Probably it doesn't because he can just go knight f3 and go away with the rook. So yeah, let's just stay with bishop g2. Yeah, bishop a6 I was considering, I was considering for sure. This is why I didn't like to put back the bishop here. So, yeah, this is kind of a, an issue right now, because queen e3, there is knight g4, knight b5, there is c6, and queen d2 looks a bit ugly. But probably, and also there's no c4 after that, but probably that's the least, that's the least trouble I, I can do at this particular position. So probably I need to play this move. Not, somehow he, he got out, it feels, it feels like. Okay, one more option is to play knight b5, c6 and then f4. But it doesn't seem to be enough. So I'm playing against my against the Grandmaster against Ilya. So I think what to do against Ilya? I think probably I should move the queen. That's my hunch. Let's move the queen. Yeah, queen h5. Wow. Queen H5 would have been a better move. Yeah, knight is 3 was the idea if I play f4. Can, will he take? Oh my god, he will take. Imagine f4, he just takes. And then takes knight f3, check. He is outplaying me. It feels like again. So what can I do? Like say, it's actually not so simple to do anything against that. I mean, he's he probably wants to take on on f2 as well. If I don't do anything about that, so it's a tough tough one. I should have played queen h5 here. Yes, actually I missed that. I can also go there with the queen. I'm wondering against Ilya what to do. Thank you so much for the for, for following Namatic. Yeah, F4 Knight takes F4 is the issue here. I mean Ruka fans look so ugly. But I'm not sure what else to do. Some F there is F3. But that look that doesn't look very. I mean, he can even take with the rook. I guess I'm going to play rook f1. I just can't see another move. Maybe it's just a, maybe it's a wrong move, but I can't see anything else. I have four. Actually, I missed that move completely. That's a nice move. Oh, that's a really nice move by Ilya. That's a really bad news for me. You know, it's a funny thing. Ilya beat, beat me in our last tournament game that we played, and he decided to join the Simon just for fun. So we have a grandmaster, grandmaster playing with us, who. Is clearly capable of beating me 
e even if I don't give a sign or play with other 30 play, uh, people. So that's pretty fun. I think I have to block this bishop because my rook is hanging also. So there might be some issues here for me. Let's say knight h3 even or something. I don't know. But I'm, let's okay. Let's just go for this one. Yeah, the, taking the knight would lose the queen to knight f3. Oh, E played C6. Wow. Now it's my time to calculate, I guess. It's running short on time though. Queen C3 and Queen D4 run into this move and they are resigned immediately. So I should not, don't, don't. Definitely, those are the moves I should never make. Mm, what else? I mean, he obviously wants to take on b5, so kind of would be nice to prevent that. Queen e3 is a possibility. So far, that looks like the most promising if I play queen e3. I might miss something there, like knight c4 or something. That's actually a very annoying move. Queen e3, knight c4. So now, now I'm at the loss again. So what, what can I do here? Can I play queen d4? Can, can go queen c3, queen e3 runs into knight c4. I mean, I might have some queen b3 after, but knight d2 is happening. All right. F4, you made F4, F4 is a terrible move. You made F4, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. Queen D6 is a possibility. Probably that's. Is that the only move I can make? Probably. And I also have to make a move because I will lose on time, so let's just make the move and hope for best. I can even take on E5 now, I imagine. Doesn't mean I should, but I can. Probably I should not. Take it back, when c6. What are, what's happening? I don't know. Hopefully, he didn't outcalculate out me. I mean, he will take on probably on b5, right? Queen e5 takes here. Still, still a complicated position. But that's th the best I can do. So, I should do it. Knight g4. I was not really calculating that. I was, I was, but I thought it doesn't work for him that much. Maybe. So I think, I mean, I absolutely have to, have to take on CC's don't die. Is there any other way there? I don't think so. Because otherwise he's just taking, he's just taking my knight. Rook f6 and the idea was that I can play here. Now uh, queen takes b6 and defend everything, right? That was the idea. Although there is e5 after that, that's sure. Okay, let's do it. e5, yes. And I can move move away from that thing, I guess. To here. Does this work for him though? I mean, it seems like I'm just a pawn up for not much.
Is, how is this winning? Still have to win. That's the feeling. I think this is this is supposed to be winning for me. Is it not? This is winning for me, I think. Yeah, so he doesn't take which obvious for obvious reasons, but now we can get to play something like this. So this is very that tricky position. I'm not even sure. Are we winning here? I'm not sure. Let's let's move this though. I might not with beat Ilya here, you know. It feels like this should this no, this probably isn't winning at all. If I in fact, there we are clearly worse there, and here Ilya is just surviving. In fact, who is better? Probably, probably not him. But we are not, we are not going to win that game. It seems like. Yeah, it's probably going to be a draw. Yeah, I did see knight h6. I did see knight h6. Yes, I'm not sure if it's winning, but definitely that's the move that I had to try. Look at this beautiful sacrifice. We survived this game by the on thread of the nail of thread, thread of the nail, <laughs> by the smallest of margins, by sacrificing here and getting into a wrong corner position. This is winning. And this is still probably a draw, unfortunately. Well, the problem is that somehow he's always in time to defend everything. I don't know how to go around that. That's a beautiful. Th thank you so much for the game, Markevich. I was very, ha very happy to save this game against you. Yeah, and we need to push the pawn, of course. A very interesting game with Ilya. Only our last game left against our against against my roommate. Four more roommate, I should say. King King uh, King E6 is coming. Maybe it is this, is it winning? I'm not sure. And then I should try this move, shouldn't I? But then Bishop B7 is coming. I should still try this move. It's so interesting, this end game. It's so interesting. The last game, the last game going against the the only grandmaster of the 
our only grandmaster opponent in, in the simo i need to go more back with the king i'm really sure about that hmm probably it's still it's not winning at all is it No, it's probably just not winning. Can we even try something here? I don't think so. I think Ia managed to survive by smaller stuff. No, by not too much, but he's maybe managed to survive. Hmm. Yeah, it's just not winning at all, is it? Just getting a four is coming as well. Yep, that's a draw. That's unfortunate we were winning. I'm pretty sure I was winning against him. But okay. Ilya is he is another level. He managed to survive even even this one. Check. You know, it's like, is this a good knight bad bishop situation? The only problem is even, even if I take the bishop, it's probably not winning. And it also seems unlikely that he would, he would run into a checkmate. Maybe he's trying to, <laughs> he's trying to run into the checkmate, no? <laughs> All right. I can't even give it. Actually, I can. I can now, you know what? I can actually now win the bishop. How do you think this, sh this game should end? <laughs> All right, I will give a check here. You know, neither of us needs to take, so this game could end in a, with a 50 move roll as well. What, do, what, what, what were you hoping for, Ilya? What do you, how, what do you want to happen? We can make it happen. I, I know you were trying to make a cooperative checkmate, but I, I didn't want that. I didn't want that. You, you, you survived the game. You survived the lost position. Good job. Good job. It was a pretty cool game. It feels like I also calculated quite well against you. So we lost two games, right? And one of them our opponent played perfectly. Another one our opponent played very well. Four draws. One of them against a very strong, almost 2700 Grandmaster, who was my roommate for three years. And 14 victories. 14 victories so it was an interesting day thank you so much for uh, for everybody who joined thank you so much for for playing with me and i hope all of you all of you enjoyed enjoyed the stream